Andy Katz here for NCAA.com in March Madness with some WCC predictions. Let's start with Player of the Year, Jordan Ford from St. Mary's, a senior guard, averaged 21 points a game, nearly three assists a game, shot 80% from the free throw line. Those numbers all could go up this season as he leads the Gales. Freshman of the Year, going out to Gonzaga. Omar Ballo played for Mali this season in the FIBA U19 over the summer. He is a rim protector. He's going to be blocking a lot of shots for the Zags. He's going to make his mark defensively, offensively. He is improving, but that's where he's going to win this honor is defensively. Most underrated player in the WCC, maybe the most underrated player on the West Coast, that's Kobe Ross from Pepperdine. A junior guard averaging nearly 20 points a game last season. He could easily pass that this season for Lorenzo Romar and the Waves. All right, five games that will have an impact. One game you won't see on this non-conference list is North Carolina at Gonzaga. That was in the ACC prediction. So at number one, Gonzaga at Washington, December 8th. Huskies should be picked one or two in the Pac-12. Gonzaga at Arizona, December 14th. Wildcats will be somewhere in that top four in the Pac-12. Pepperdine taking on Arizona in the opening round on November 28th of the Wooden Legacy. And it's critical that you win the first game in those three-game non-conference tournaments. You win that first game, more than likely games two and three are against postseason teams. Number four, St. Mary's opens the season against Wisconsin in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. That's November 5th. And number five, back to that same premise of winning that first game in a non-conference tournament. BYU takes on UCLA in the Maui Invitational. That game will be without Yoli Childs. He's suspended for the first nine games of the season. That's why that game is so critical for BYU. You win that game, you'll be in the winner's bracket. Probably not going to be Kansas, which will be Chaminade. But that means in that third game, you could go against Georgia, Dayton, or Virginia Tech. So for BYU, if they beat UCLA, they're looking more than likely as playing three teams from power conferences, possibly, maybe Dayton out of the A-10. But they could end up playing two games for sure in games two and three against NCAA tournament-bound teams. I just don't see it for UCLA. And my bold prediction for the WCC is that Pepperdine, under Lorenzo Romar, led by Ross, will be in contention for an NCAA tournament berth down to the final weekend of the season. Yes, the Waves will be on the bubble. That's my bold prediction.